What's up guys, we're standing right outside Ground Zero Fitness and today two calisthenics athletes, Brandon and I, are gonna try powerlifting for the very first time. And we're gonna be doing it with someone very special, one of the best around. Let's go inside and let's go meet him. Larry, what's up? What's going on, Brandon? Nice to meet you. What's up, Pleasure Mr. To meet you Wheels? Too. What's up, how are you? Doing all right? Good, 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 man. You look bigger in person, dude. Yeah, what the f you think, yeah. Hell yeah. All the illusion, I just dropped 30 pounds coming up for my show. Really? Awesome, bro. Yeah. So you're gonna show us how to powerlift today. 100%, I mean, that's my forte over a decade of experience in the sport, oh, a few all-time world records. So I can walk you guys through a little warm-up routine and I can take you through all three lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift. Excellent, so with all your tips, we should be able to lift like just as much as you basically at the end of this, right? Within a few weeks, give it a few weeks at least. A few weeks, excellent. Yeah. So how did you get into powerlifting anyway? So I got into fitness at 14. I was in the Caribbean, I had nothing else to do but ride my bike and work out, couldn't go to school down there. Only one school in the island, couldn't afford it. Then a couple years later, I moved to the States and I met a veteran who was doing powerlifting while he was enlisted. And he said, well, I'm not sure you're gonna like it. It's just a one rep or three rep max on the squat bench or deadlift, kind of boring. So he was more into bodybuilding. However, I thought that sounded really exciting because bodybuilding, I found to be very subjective. You have a few guys telling you whether you look good or not. Whereas powerlifting, it's more definitive. You either get the weight or you don't. Once I tried it out and I saw my weekly gains, like every time I went to the gym to try and hit a bigger weight in squat bench or deadlift, I hit a PR. Right, and that progress is very addicting. I got my first record at 21. Wow. How were you able to progress so fast? Did you have a coach? Did you have someone to put you on? So the only advice I ever give when people ask is get a coach as soon as you can. Invest in a good coach, not just any coach, but a good coach, reputable coach, worth every penny, because they're gonna help you skip all of the mistakes. Well, luckily we got a solid coach today, one of the best in the world. It's an honor to train with you today, man. So we'll head over here to the turf area. We'll get some warm-ups done because nice. the most important part of powerlifting is injury prevention. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. Same thing with calisthenics. I'm pretty sure the same thing with all of fitness, right? 100%. Since we're going to be doing squat bench deadlift today, first thing we want to start off with is a hip flexor stretch, right? Open up the hips, get some mobility here. You guys are lightweight, so not too much of an issue, but for us bigger guys, this is a must. Yeah, you know, just squeeze the glutes, keep them contracted, slightly lunge forward and then reach over the opposite side of your shoulder, right? And I like to do it dynamically, so it feels like repetitions. And we're gonna be doing five reps on either side. Just fully contract the glute, reach over to the other shoulder. How important is warming up and mobility training to you as a power lifter? I mean, it's everything. There's no way I can ever approach a lift or powerlifting workout without it being done beforehand. So if your workout, let's say, is an hour, how much time do you spend in, in doing this? Just about seven, eight minutes, because right. you don't want to get yourself to exhaustion or tire right. yourselves out at all. You want to save all that power for the lift. And we're just going to rock back and forth. And then each time you come forward, try and spread the knee a bit. And then when you come to the end range, you squeeze the glutes. Just about five repetitions here. We just lean over here, and you should feel the stretch in your glute. Just do a few repetitions. You can swap sides now. Yeah. I'm gonna stay in this one, this is so good. <laughs> Adductor stretch is just coming in here, squat position, then squeezing against your arms and pushing out at the same time to mm. create a contraction and then mm -hmm. opening them up. Okay, and then we're gonna do a little hamstring stretch here. Yep. Just a little toe touch. Yeah. Now we're safe. Everything's all warmed up. We can do some squats over here in this rack. You want to go thumbless grip, right? As a first timer, I think it's a bit easier with the shoulder mobility and everything. Let's come in here, right? Get that bar nice and low, right beneath your traps and on top of your rear delt. Get your feet even and then just squat up. Not straight up here, but hunched forward slightly so the bar if you're looking down at your feet, it is roughly over the center of your foot. Then you start the movement, not with your knees, right? But with your hips. Yep, and try and keep your knees slightly out. Okay, like that. Yeah, beautiful. Oh yeah, I can feel like there's more supportive power. Oh yeah. When you like drive up and the knees are not caving in. How much is, is like one plate? Well, that's obviously like complete, complete beginner. If you just want to at least double your body weight, you're definitely a novice. Okay, so how long does it take to be able to do double your body weight in a lift? Well, if you're consistently squatting every week with a good coach, you're looking at no more than three to six months, really. So it, it could take three to six months to get decent at this? Uh, yeah, it depends on the individual, the coach. Generally speaking, I say from what I've seen, three to six months, of doing it consistently every week, right? With progressive overload, 
you can get about double body weight squat. Wow. Yeah. Damn, that sounds like a goal for me, dude. And then I say you're elite when you can do about triple. How long does that take? That could take years. As a, as a power lifter, is there a rep range that we're, we're working with or we're going for? Yeah, it's hit five. Yeah. So we're never really like doing anything above five or sometimes we do? Sometimes, with, like something in the very beginning of programming, you do eight. Right. And then not too long after, you'll be doing- you Start working your way down and working your way five. up the weights. Yeah. Right there? Yes, sir. Yeah. How's that? Perfect. Textbook, man. Damn, did I, cheeks, did I come up too double much? Cheeks. <laughs> did I come, do I like come up like that too much or should I just leave it right there? Yeah, leave it right there, exactly. Okay. Don't push your hip forward. Okay, so right there. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, you're not coming up straight up. You're not standing straight up. Uh -huh. yeah. Your back doesn't get straightened out. It stays right, So you keep over. that tension right there yeah. the whole time. Should we go up and wait? Yeah, let's go two plates. I guess the 25s and the 10s don't exist over here. <laughs> <laughs> We're making gains, baby. Have you ever squat two plates before, Brandon? Yeah, I have. Lightweight. You got this, bro. Easy. Dude, yep. that was too easy. Break him out. Yep. One more. Yes. Beautiful. Let's rack it. Let's Sheesh. rack it. Oh, yeah. All right. Excuse Woo. me, sir. God damn. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. I can tell it's going to be too easy. Yeah. Like this? There it is. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yes. Beautiful. One yeah. more. Here you go. Yes, perfect. Nice. Too easy. Ooh, thanks, Coach. Whether or not you're using a belt, preferably weight from PR, you should do this with your breathing, right? For bracing. This is the most important thing with squat, bench, and deadlift. You're breathing into your diaphragm, right? Okay. And then as your stomach expands, you're going to hold that. You're going to brace as hard as you can. Right, that creates stability. It also creates intra-abdominal pressure, which you can use coming out of the hole in the squat bench or deadlift, but rather any lift. It'll give you significant increase in power. One to five reps, right? I'd hold my air the entire time. I would not let go. The second you let go of that brace, everything relaxes, right? And then all of a sudden that weight feels like a lot heavier, right? You lose that explosivity and you lose that stability. You could be doing a set of eight to 12 or more. You want to breathe. You, you have to breathe yeah. after five. That's, a, that's time and attention right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, you're gonna, gonna pass out. Right yeah. Widen your stance a bit. Now is the time to breathe in your diaphragm. Let your belly expand, brace, hold, keep holding. Don't let go. Yep. Again, big air in your diaphragm. Yes. Breathe into your stomach and brace. Yep, hold it, hold the air, hold the air. Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, that set looked a lot better, bro. Breathe in your Breathe stomach, in. push out, and brace, and hold. Yeah. And oh, slow yeah. down the way down. Yeah, slow down. Yeah. Breathe in your stomach and brace. Yep. There it is. Oh, yeah, that felt a lot easier. Oh, yeah. No problem. Hell, yeah. All right. Boom. Yeah, that, that one simple technique. That makes such a huge difference. Now we're gonna hit some bench. I walk you guys through a wrap. This is my, not my favorite lift, but it's where I feel most comfortable. All right, you need me to spot you? Uh, maybe when I get to six plates. All yeah. right, cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> so scapula retracted, right? Okay. You can use this to, to get the scapula retracted. Delicious. Ring finger on the line. So your grip is the same every single time. And when you unrack it, do your best not to comb out here, mm. but to keep your elbows Tucked. in. So it's more like a tricep extension when you unrack it. So when you have a spotter, which you always should, even in the warm ups, every set, the handoff feels the same, mm. right? It looks like that. Okay? And then elbows stay tucked the whole time, right? So what you don't want to do is let the elbows go, go out and flare. This is how people tear their pecs. Think of doing a leg extension for leg drive. See, I'm going up the bench, not right, not pressing straight down, more ass is coming off. And when you press, elbows stay tucked. Bring finger on the bench, yes sir. Beautiful, yes. Keep your scapula retracted, yes. Beautiful. And another thing is never move your feet once they're planted. Never move. Okay. Yeah. I was moving over Do you dig in with your heels or the ball of your foot? I dig in with the middle of my foot. If you dig in with your heels, what happens is your ass come off the bench. Mm. And if that happens, it's a no lift. Oh, okay. Cause it gives you an unfair leverage, mm. right? So when people like at LA Fitness fail the bench, what you'll see most commonly is this. I'll just demonstrate it. This is what it'll look like. This is me in the gym. <laughs> Flat back, 
Okay. Way too down on the bench. Right. <laughs> okay. Violin on rack. Yep. There goes Feet the shoulders. Feet are constantly shuffling. Right. <laughs> well, Elbows flare. Yep. Oh. Yep. Twisting. Oh, yep. Butt off the Ass feet, come off right. the bench. <laughs> yep. That's what it looks like. So, all those things, don't do any of them. All right, if I'm shuffling my feet, bro, just let me know. Ring finger on the ring. Yep. Right there. Scat, yes, perfect. Come down like that. Yes. Come right back up. Beautiful. Yep. There it is. No problem. Yep. And when you bench, mm -hmm. try and go slightly as you come up. Think of a curvature. Oh, so you want to come slightly back up? Yes. Okay. Very subtle. Think very subtle. So should we put some weight up on this? Yeah, throw a couple plates on. All right, since we're going to this next lift, we're adding weight on the bar. Maybe it's an appropriate time to ask now, what's the Larry Wills uh, curse or whatever? I'm known for my feature strength. And when people I collaborate with are featured on my channel, especially if they don't have a big channel themselves, or maybe they're not even on social media all that much. So everyone wants to put on a show. Camera's rolling, they're not used to the camera being in their face with the whole workout. So it's a big, it's a special moment for them. There's so many cases of guys that came on the channel that said, yeah, I'm like healthy, I got no injuries, nothing. And then we find out after they get hurt, oh, well, I, I didn't mention that I actually had this small injury over here this time ago. Oh, you should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have told you not to do that. Like, All right, well, that makes me feel better. Now I feel safer. <laughs> now I know it's not so much as a curse. Yeah, so that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you want to go for this 45? Yeah, I'll do it. Let's get it. Yep. There it is. Beautiful. Yeah, too easy, got that. Okay, not bad. Got the quick learners, man. Like this? Yeah. And then down here? This is perfect. Back up? Yes. Yeah. How are the elbows? Are they playing out or what? Can you tuck them anymore? Yeah, like there that? it is. Oh, you That's feel good. way more triceps than that. Oh yeah, beautiful. And when you, when you tuck, it should be a subtle movement, a subtle tuck, not overly tuck. Oh, okay. Three, two. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's throw it up. Here we go. Yep. I'm with you. There it is. Damn. Yep. No problem. Beautiful. Hell oh, yeah. I was sweating on that one. Dude, thanks, bro. Dude, your energy, bro. Yes, sir. There nice we go. Energy's making me make get some gains, bro. Here we go. Come on. Yep. Freeze. Yep. Come on. Yes. Yeah, that voice is more than me, bro. You got this. Let's go. Let's go. Push it. Push it. Push it. You got it. Let's go. It's right there, Brandon. Yeah. God damn. What a legend. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 Keeps moving, don't touch it. Dude, he just yeah. showed on, on camera like this, this stuff works. It's a difference of form because I've tried it with right? two plates, I couldn't do it. Change up the form right away, it's easier. Got it up. Yeah. That's crazy how like form makes such a big difference. And that's what it comes down to with powerlifting and progression. How long can you lift and progress without getting injured? I love that you're saying that because I've said that so many times on my vlog series already. Like, it's not like who trains the hardest that's going to be the best, but who can train the most consistently without getting injured while progressing that's really going to be the best in the end because, I mean, we know we can train hard as and then you injure yourself and you're out for like, you start to regress. As you guys can see, like experienced lifters, experienced athletes, they're all going through the same thing and the outcome is the same. You don't want to train too hard every single day. You just want to be able to train every single day. All right, so. Della, this is my favorite lift, right? All right, cool. Which I haven't done any of because I've been bodybuilding this year, so I miss it. What's your max deadlift? I've done 930 for three. 930? How many plates is that? Um, like almost 10, nine. I think it is 10 plates, actually. Is that like, yeah, that's crazy. That was what? years ago. That was only like, I think, eight something with some reverse bands, actually. You did a lift where you started bleeding out of your chest? Yeah. That didn't scare you? You were just like, oh shit, I'm, hey, Kinda blood, blood's yeah. coming. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> so. First step is approaching the bar. Okay. Right? You want the bar to be right under the middle of your foot, stacked, just like with the squat, okay? Because when you bend down, you, you should just about touch. See how it just touches uh, yeah. when I get to position, right? It's just touching your shins. And I'm going over on hand grip just because the bar rolls. 
So if you go over, over, it would just roll out of your hands. Another thing is, if um, you go too close with your grip, mm. see how it's like getting in the way of my uh, knees? Right. Right? So when you pull, right, it's gonna be making your knees go in. Mm. I don't want that. So you go outside of your knees. For me, it's about right here, right? So when I pull, you get my knees a bit out, and it feels very natural. The drive is the most important part of the deadlift, right? So instead of trying to think, okay, drive through my heels and lift with my back, it makes it over complicated, right? Things get broken down, it's not smooth and efficient. So you get in a position and just think about hips forward, right? And automatically, everything's gonna work. Mm, the harmony. mechanics will just go. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Okay. Just inside your shoulders, right over your shoelace. And yeah, perfect. So when you bend down to grab the bar, I love that. You're going with your hips, not with your knees. Mm. Yes. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Textbook. Textbook. You know what? You've mastered power thing. You're done. Yeah? Yep, you're done. I compete now? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All you gotta to. do is just put nine more on now. <laughs> sure. But this is this is all you do. You, you did it right. Just yeah. add more weight to it. And same thing <coughs> with the breathing on the squat, brace. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here, yes, and I sir. put my hips forward. Yes, sir. Brace. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, I forgot the embrace. So it's yeah. like, um. Yeah, so, yeah. And <clears throat> for the bracing part, right, it's easier to brace when you're standing upright. You're slightly hunched forward. That's gonna be the easiest position to draw air in your diaphragm. When you're hunched over the bar, it's significantly oh, harder. Yeah. Felt that, so right? Yeah, for sure. So that's why all my years of hitting my mixed grip powerlifting deadlift records, I'd always get the air from up here. Right, right before I'm about to go and grab the bar, I'm drawing all the air in my diaphragm, creating all the intra-abdominal pressure, oh, okay. bracing, and then I'm quickly going down because every time under tension from your diaphragm, you're right, you're, you're losing, like you can only hold your breath so long. So that's why I go down so quickly because I don't want to waste any of that time with which I can hold that pressure. Powerlifting and, and calisthenics is so similar because you're just hitting like three to one max reps, especially with all these really difficult moves. You're lifting as hard as you can. So the same tips that Larry said, it's kind of very similar to a full plans too. You want to get right into position as fast as possible or a front lever or something like that. You don't want to waste too much time getting to the position because you're also wasting strength the whole time and you need as much of that strength as possible to actually do the full planche. Well, coach, I feel like we learned the basic threes of powerlifting. I'm pretty, pretty much all we need to know, right? Yeah, you guys are set from here. Screw competing in the sport. You guys mastered already. There's no point in you pursuing it anymore. Check Excellent. Out, you know everything you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm ready yeah. to hit LA Fitness in the stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Appreciate oh, all pleasure. the tips, the techniques, and, and Thank you so much, right? guys, for coming out. Yeah, for sure. And I hope uh, early next year, around February time frame, you'll be for the Grand Open, my new gym, OG yeah. Gym. Yeah, that you're right so there, bro. You guys, stay tuned for that one. If you want to see Larry Wheels try some calisthenics, make sure you subscribe to this channel right here. Make sure you subscribe to Larry Wheels. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my brother, Brandon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned something or enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Mad love. Peace out, baby. Yeah.